everyone, Grand K here from the Smoke Learning Channel. Today I'd like to share with you another one of Smoke's powerful animation tools, expressions. Now don't cover your eyes and turn away, just give me a moment of your time and you might be quite surprised. Expressions could be considered as an intermediate and even advanced subject, but I'm going to give you the grounding to get started as well as illustrate some of the usages of these amazing time-saving tools. Normally when people think of mathematical expressions, it looks like a completely foreign language that you might think would be used to plot the trajectory of asteroids in space. But this could not be further from the truth. For us mere creative mortals, you do not need a mathematical degree. An understanding of relationships, basic mathematics and a few expression commands are plenty for most of us to speed up our workflows. Let's start off with relationships. One purpose of an expression is to create animation based off another animation. In other words, one animation channel can generate animation for another channel. So for instance, we have an animation move on the X position channel of this geometry. Now I would like this text to spin as it moves across the screen. Smoke makes this process really easy to comprehend. This process is called linking. Now there are two ways to link channels to each other using expressions. Firstly, in the object menu you can use the keyboard shortcuts command click and on the X position slider this will bring up the contextual pop-up menu. Very simply, I can choose the copy channel option at the bottom of the list. Next, command click on the Z rotation channel to bring up the contextual pop-up menu again. At the bottom of the list, I will choose link channel. The Z rotation slider grays out and a dotted line appears under the value. This tells me that an expression has been applied to this channel. Now if we scrub the time bar, we can see that the rotation is derived from the position of the geometry. I'll undo this operation by clicking the undo button to the right of the interface, or you could press command Z on the keyboard. Now let's go into the animation curves to see what is going on. Holding down the shift key on the keyboard, double click on the X position channel. This brings up the channel editor full screen and we can see the selected channel. Pressing the viewer button at the bottom left of the screen and swiping left will bring up the interface for our composite view and put the curve editor at the bottom of the screen. Now when you are looking at the object menu or the curve editor, you can link channels together. In the curve editor, you simply take the channel and to the right of the interface, you can press the copy button. Now select the Z rotation channel in the channel editor and to the right of the interface, you can press the link button. This creates the expression link and you have a few visual indications to show you what is happening. Firstly, the E symbol is the most obvious indication that this channel has been affected by an expression. Secondly, the curve in the animation editor cannot be selected or edited as it has been based on an expression. Finally, you can see that the expression of the channel is at the bottom of the curve editor. In this case, it simply says position.x. Now we will get into channel and object identification for expressions, but for now, the layman's way of reading this expression is simply read as the value of the Z rotation is equal to the value of the X position. So when I scrub the time bar, you can see in the channel editor that the value of the X position equals the value of the Z rotation. This is the fundamental relationship of an expression in smoke. The next part of expressions is the basic understanding of mathematics. I'm not referring to Einstein's science, simply addition, subtraction, 
multiplication and division. So right now, the value of the expression on the rotation channel is equal to the value of the position channel. Let's say that the rotation is too fast and we would like to slow it down. The way to do this is to reduce the value in the rotation channel so that the animation curve is not so big as the position channel. You can achieve this through division. We will take the value of position x, this is 900, and we will divide it by 10. To edit any of these expressions, you simply select the channel with the expression applied, and to the right of the interface, you can click the Expressions button. This brings up the expression editor at the bottom of the interface. You can see the original expression, position.x. To divide the position x by 10, you simply add at the end of the existing expression, divide by 10. Pressing enter confirms the expression to the channel. Scrubbing the time bar, we can see that the rotation is 10 times less the value than the value for position. You can see this quite clearly as I highlight the affected areas. To finish off this example, I would like the rotation of the geometry to be clockwise instead of anti-clockwise. To do this, all the negative values in rotation should be positive, and all the positive values should be negative. In basic mathematics, a negative multiplied by a negative is positive, a positive multiplied by a negative is negative. This theory can be applied to the expression. The steps to achieve this is to first derive the value of the rotation of position x. We've already done this and divided that value by 10. This gave us a minus 90 value at frame 1. We now want to take minus 90 and multiply it by minus 1 to make it positive 90. Press the Expressions button to the right of the interface to bring up the Expression Editor at the bottom of the screen. I will now place brackets or parentheses before and after the original expression. The parentheses tell us to work out the value inside the brackets before calculating the values outside the brackets. So in this case, we will first work out what is the value inside the brackets. In this case, it's minus 90. We will now multiply this result by minus 1. Pressing Enter on the keyboard confirms the expression. Scrubbing the time bar shows the movement of the geometry as well as the derived rotation through the expression animation. For those of you who have never used expressions before, you might be thinking, I could hand animate that. True, but as your composites and designs become more advanced, expressions can help speed up the way you work by automating these animation tasks as well as allowing for fast and precise adjustments. In the next video, we'll be having a look at expressions across multiple objects and I'll be introducing functions and references which could also alter the expression results. If you'd like to know any more information about Autodesk Smoke, or you'd like to download the free 30-day trial copy, just go to autodesk.com forward slash smoke for Mac. I'm Gron K, signing off for the Smoke Learning Channel.